In 2010, air travel was forever changed when United and Continental merged to form the world's leading airline. The two companies were a perfect match. Continental brought strength in the eastern U.S. and Latin America, while United dominated on the West Coast and across the Pacific. Both airlines focused on operational excellence and quality customer service in order to enhance the customer's flying experience. In a way, it was faith that these two industry leaders would come together as they both grew out of the same company. April 6, 1926. A pilot named Leon Cuddyback takes off from Elko, Nevada and soars straight into history. Cuddyback is flying a mail route that will take him to Boise, Idaho and Pasco, Washington in the Swallow. A plane with only 90 horsepower, a rickety body, and an open cockpit. He navigated using farm roads and small searchlights as landmarks. It was the first flight of what will eventually become Varney Air Service and later United. Walter Thomas Varney, a pioneer of commercial aviation, also was the founder of Varney Speedlines, which later became Continental. It wasn't long after that first mail flight that people started taking to the skies. Pilots began to see more and more passengers hitching rides, paying $150 to claim a seat next to the mailbags, which included a parachute, just in case. Demand for the service grew rapidly. In 1929, a new company was formed to meet the growing need, United Aircraft and Transport Corporation, and it was a company on the move. The 1930s began a period of over 20 years that saw United revolutionize the industry with the invention of air-to-ground radio communications, the flight recorder, and in-flight radar. United also innovated when it came to service, hiring a nurse named Ellen Church and seven other women on May 15, 1930 as the first ever flight attendants. That same year, United completed its acquisition of its four predecessor air companies to expand the routes it could offer customers. The operations of all the different carriers were combined under one new company, United Airlines. Off in the Southwest, another new airline was created. Continental Airlines traces its roots back to 1934, when Varney Speedlines first lifted off a dusty runway in West Texas, hauling a few bags of mail. A few years later, a young entrepreneur named Robert Six bought the airline and changed the name to Continental. With the coming of World War II, civilian air travel was no longer on the rise, but United continued to innovate becoming the first airline to offer air freight service and coach class cabins. And in 1955, the company's leaders made sure that the carrier took advantage of technological advancements, resulting in United becoming the first airline to order jets for its fleet. Continental soon followed, ordering its first true jet aircraft, the Boeing 707, or Golden Jet, in 1959. Over the ensuing years, Continental became known for its signature planes and got a nickname of its own, the Proud Bird with the Golden Tail. 1961 saw United again take a leap forward, merging with Capital Airways to become the largest airline in the free world. Soon after, United teamed up with the Mad Men of the era to promote itself with the launch of the Fly the Friendly Skies of United advertising campaign. Just like United, Continental continued to innovate throughout the 60s and 70s, forming Air Micronesia, or Air Mike, in its first efforts to become a global airline, and strengthened its place in the industry with expanded routes and the addition of its first wide-bodied aircraft, the Boeing 747, and McDonnell Douglas DC-10. In 1983, United set its sights on the world as it began its first regularly scheduled service outside North America. 
As its routes expanded, alliances were formed with airlines around the world to allow for seamless travel to exotic destinations. And by the 1990s, United was the largest airline on the planet, with new direct service to Europe, South America, and Asia. As the century drew to a close, United continued to enhance its offerings to customers. The company expanded its global reach even further as one of the founding partners of the Star Alliance and offered customers travel innovations and luxury never before seen in the airline industry. But with the new millennium came new challenges. Following the tragedy of September 11th, the entire airline industry struggled with record high fuel prices and a failing economy. In spite of the tough environment, the company developed new ways to operate, evolve, and provide customers with improved onboard experiences through products such as PS, our premium transcontinental service, Economy Plus, offering more legroom throughout the fleet, X Plus, our initiative to provide regional jet customers more comfort, and the new premium cabins on our international flights with flatbed seats in first and business. It is the spirit of innovation shown by both airlines throughout their long storied histories that led United and Continental to form a partnership in 2010 and reinvent how airlines work together. Today, United is focused on continuously evolving to maintain our position as the world's leading airline and number one carrier customers choose to fly. We have the world's most comprehensive global route network with approximately 5,700 daily departures serving more than 370 airports on six continents. We provide non-stop or one-stop service from virtually anywhere in the United States to Asia, Europe, Latin America, Africa, the Middle East, and Australia. We operate a fleet second to none. Our customers can depend on us to carry them across the country and around the world, with approximately 700 aircraft and new planes brought in every year, providing us with one of the most fuel-efficient fleets in the industry. Our desire to stay ahead of the competition ensures we have the best new aircraft order book among U.S. network carriers, including being the North American launch customer for the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. The 787 Dreamliner will revolutionize the flying experience for United customers and crews, while delivering unprecedented operating efficiency, comfort, and lower emissions. We have firm orders for 50 787s for delivery by 2019. Furthermore, we're investing more than half a billion dollars to upgrade our aircraft interiors with more flatbed seats, economy plus seating, larger overhead bins, satellite-enabled in-flight internet service, as well as other customer service improvements. Never before has an airline had the combination of expertise, experience, and talent that United has in our most important asset, our people. Because never before has there been an airline like United.